Dear friends, I am very pleased to welcome you today in the Golden Hall of the Russian Embassy in London. We are really privileged and grateful to the Ambassador Kellen uh, for his invitation and for the opportunity to present our project here. We decided to dedicate this project to Tchaikovsky's Cycle Seasons by creating a new seasons composed by RCM talented composers. I really hope you enjoy our concert. Let's begin. Tonight I'm delighted to open the uh, cycle of the 12 seasons of Tchaikovsky. I'll be performing first uh, Tchaikovsky January, followed by a contemporary piece composed by a student of the RCM called uh, Jasper Eaglesfield. The contemporary piece mirror the original Tchaikovsky one, and I think you'll be able to see how both of them are very lyrical.
I'll be playing two pieces um, in the evening, one by Tchaikovsky and one by an RCM composer. So the February piece uh, by Tchaikovsky Carnival um, resembles this carnival feeling uh, from Russia, and I can already feel this from the music itself, even though I've never been there. Um, and the contemporary piece is called Carnival Contradictions, so it's a sort of resemblance of a party, a carnival, uh, longer after. So as if you're remembering the carnival from long ago. And I thought it's a very good idea to combine these two pieces, to have the actual carnival from Russia and then the remembrance of the carnival in the future.
And today in this beautiful venue, I'm going to be playing a piece by Tchaikovsky, his March from the Seasons, and a piece called March Upside Down, which was by an RCM composer um, and was actually inspired by the month of September. There's a lot of underlying tension in this piece. When I play it, I actually think of a tropical thunderstorm. So the air is full of electricity and the threat of rain, but it's so changeable and it never fully um, releases itself.
Now I will perform a piece called April by Timon Skorzelski. It's a very interesting piece, which is inspired by blooming of the first days of spring. It's based on the one chord, but the tension increases during the whole piece to the very climax in the end. My piece differs a lot from Tchaikovsky's interpretation because it's a lot more dramatic and tempestuous, whereas his is much more melodious and calm. With my interpretation of this piece, I wanted to shock people and create something that's a lot more dramatic. And I feel like with a lot of piano music, um, we can be a little subdued and I want to kind of take this dynamic energy and surprise the audience. 
when I played this piece written by my good friend Jasmine, and I start to think about chaos, it's not about uh, destructive, uh, gloomy, dangerous things. I'm going to think of a hope.
Uh, when I play Tchaikovsky's Dune, um, I think along the lines of melancholy and lyricism, uh, as opposed to the, the sort of sunny days that one might assume from the start of summer, um, it's, a, it's a very wistful piece, but also very yearning with some really quite heart-wrenching moments within it. Um, and this gives a, real ni a really nice opportunity to deliver these emotions through the pianism.
when I play Tchaikovsky's July, I can vividly uh, imagine the summer in Russia. Uh, it's a time of relaxation, time where people go to their duchess to spend time with their family. Um, many composers did so. Tchaikovsky was, uh, of course, one of them. And he had the beautiful scenery such as this uh, to take for his inspiration. I'll be playing August by Delith Field, a Welsh Japanese composer. Uh, it's about the sort of feeling we have in August when a lot of people start new work or new education. So it's a feeling of um, being very nervous and very excited about it, but also being reflective of what, what has, what's happened in the past.
I will start by playing Tchaikovsky's September. This is a lovely upbeat piece portraying the hunt. So the horns are playing, the riders are on their horses, jumping and hunting in the forests. And then the second piece is a contemporary piece written by Jolene Kaur, female composer. Um, it's called Dance of the Kitsune. Kitsune means fox in Japanese. And every year in September in Japan, the festival of the fox is held and people are dancing to the music and this piece illustrates the dance of the fox.
Now I will perform two pieces. The first one is Tchaikovsky's October, very sad story of last days of warmth. And the second piece is Elena Davis's October of Kilter, about a very frightening spirit of Halloween, which will put your nerves on edge.
I'll be playing November by Tchaikovsky tonight at this wonderful venue. Although it's the end of autumn in uh, the rest of the world, back in Russia, that's where the river starts freezing, that's where the snow uh, starts falling, and this piece resembles the Troika, as in three horses who are connected by the ark. <laughs> 